cheap uh, places for animals and birds. And uh, the vegetation is also, as I told, like it is also supplying, uh, like uh, giving refuge and food host for birds and animals. And it, these different floras are also, uh, also are the larva host or nectar host for many kinds of bees and butterflies. So looking into the biodiversity, uh, as I told earlier, since it is undergoing two different conditions, uh, that is very wet and very dry condition. So it has an un unusual ecological condition which supports many varieties of species which are endemic to that place. So there are different, different kinds of birds, butterflies, uh, bees are over there. Like it said that like around hundreds species of butterflies are identified over there and about uh, 185 species of birds are identified in that location, which is the huge in Kerala. And uh, around six, more than 600 species of herbs are identified in this Malipara. Like um, uh, there are many more to be identified, like we see Balakrishna Sar also told that there are many more to be identified in this place. So it is an like unusual, ecological condition which gives a big huge wide bio biodiversity and it is also very much herbaceous so looking into uh, the place with ayurvedic uh, ayurvedic viewpoint like we can say like in an ayurvedic ecology we can uh, understand that this is a place which is having the predominance of prithvi akasha and agni mahabuddha because uh, as i showed previously like the pictures like it is a level ground with black rocks big heavy black rocks and there are uh, kinds of pebbles over there and it is scanty like um, arid region with scanty plants so we can say like as it told like black heavy rocks and laterite ground shows predominance of priti mahabuddha laterite dark soil and level grounds on hilltop uh, talks about Agasha Mahabuddha predominance and like pebbles and scanty pale shrubs shows the predominance of Akni Mahabuddha. So this is from uh, Susurita Samhita. Or we can say again from Susurita Samhita that this place is a Sadharana Jangladesha. And in Tamil literature, we can say that uh, this is a uh, Nadal Bhumi, like coastal or surrounding area. Like uh, Maraipara is a, like near to a coastal area. So we can say like in Tamil literature, we can call it as a Nadal Nilam. So the first flora, like I would like to discuss here, is uh, Thali, Thali Marawara, which is a Compa Primosara, and it is a orchid, like it's a tree orchid, which is mainly seen in sacred groups. This is considered as the source of Rasna by some Vaidya. There are discussions going on over this whether it is or not, but many suggest that it is a source of Rasna, and uh, like we can see that it is used as a Rasana. It is used for. Uh, it is used for uh, like a pain relieving thing. So we can say like it's a, a good pain reducer. It can be used as labor for pain in rheumatic condition. The stem decoction is used as ear drop in earache, mainly due to the fungal infection. This drug showed antibacterial and antifungal properties in studies. And so maybe that, that's why it is used as uh, like it's considered as a rasna. The next one is again an endemic plant, which is having a very beautiful flower, which is uh, seen in wet condition of this Madaipara. It's called Tiyok or Tipul Drosera Indica. It's endemic plant to such ecosystem, which is insectivorous, like it eats the insects. We can see reference about this plant in Rasanigandu as a Brahmarari, like it kills uh, the Brahmara, which indicates that uh, indicated in like Slesh Majora, like Kapha fever. Uh, skin diseases and other orthopedic conditions like it is used in uh, other kind of uh, inflammatory conditions like uh, in Siddha this plant is considered as Rasayana and, and uh, this is also used as uh, uh, used for making tattoos in olden tradition by the tribes and uh, the phytochemical studies showed up that like it reduces the cough like it has the property to reduce the cough and the bronchial asthma and also has some anti-cancerous and antioxidant property. Maybe that's why like it's considered as Rasayana in Siddha medicine. The next plant is Mukana Piruga, like Allophilus Kobe. It is an anti-inflammatory drug uh, and orthopedic cat drug, which is used in flock medicine. 
like the leaves are used for uh, the paste of this loop. Uh, this leaf are used for applying over the, uh, the fracture area and uh, for making the bandage. And it is also considered as uh, Arshagna. And these are having like, they, they produce beautiful berries, which are, uh, um, uh, which attracts many birds. And this is a good host for a special kind of butterfly called like silver line butterfly. So like the larva of uh, this butterfly feeds on the leaf and uh, the, the leaf juice is very slimy. And it is also used as bhavana dravya, like for triturating in uh, different kinds of uh, fracture illness for some tablets. Like when we triturate, like for making leba, like we may uh, triturate in different kinds of juices, right? For that, these leaf juice are used and it's really effective. The next one is like Ampelicious latifolia, like Katumundri, or it is considered as Vanadhraksha in Sanskrit, and which is very endemic to laterate ecosystem. These are very endemic to laterate ecosystem, and their fruits are eaten by the fox and porcupine. Uh, yes, it is like that. The fruits are edible for us, but when it is ripened only, when it is not ripened, when it is unripened. They are itchy. They use this uh, in flock, fork, uh, they use these fruits for making pickles. In tribes, the leaf juice is used in toothache and clearing the ulcer. Like they use the leaf juice for gargling and applying over the ulcers or any kinds of infection in the tooth and to reduce that. So it can, maybe, like, it can be used for healing the wounds in the mouth. The stem bark and the tender stem is used to used for stomach ache, fracture, and dislocations. And it is used as a trauma care drug. Also, the root tubers are considered as santhania and used in recta, recta disara. So it is a good santhania drug, anti-inflammatory drug, and it is used in block medicine. And the other kind of kanyaram, kanyaram is wali kanyaram, uh, Cantzira radi is also an endemic plant, like you can see on laterate ecosystems. It is known as false olive because the, the fruits are very similar to that of olive, but it's not having the similar color. But when it is ripened, it's like a uh, red in color. Uh, so, but it is considered as uh, false olive and it's very, uh, it's edible and uh, the birds, uh, birds are attracted to these fruits. This is bitter in taste. The leaves are used as vegetable and by the local people as chutney. And, it is a recta shodaka and it is good for uh, skin diseases. So we can use this, uh, use this plant like leaves as a patya for people who are having skin diseases because it is having a tiktarasa and also is a recta shodaka. And um, it is considered to be used in postnatal care. Postnatal care as it like, uh, and also it is told to be hepatoprotective and diuretic in nature. And some of the folks say that it is used as an antidote for rat poison. Like uh, they make the paste of this drug. They make the paste of this drug and apply over the uh, bite, site of bite. And uh, some says like we have to rub the leaf over the site of bite. The next drug is Asharipuli. Andidasima Ocidum is like a it's a herb which is having a uh, sore berries and are edible, like uh, it is edible for us as well. Then it is having hot potency drug, which is very much useful in trauma care. Like uh, they say is that like when you prepare oil of this leaf can be used as like cotton chukati oil, or they say like it, it can work more than that uh, cotton chukati oil because it reduces the pain very well. And it is used in like uh, Kalevi Chikilsa, the martial art Kalevi Chikilsa. The leaves are used to prepare oil, as I told. Uh, leaves are used as a vegetable as well, like that of Wallikanyaram, which is good for the stomach illness, like, and like, it is used for dysentery and also work as an appetizer. So this is also a drug which you can include as a patya for people who are having some illness over the stomach. And you can see the reference about this drug in Thai medicine as well. Like in Thai medicine, it is used as used in dysentery as we told, and also for the bile complaints. The Samudrapacha, the uh, uh, Agria Nervosa, Vridhadharu is a Sanskrit name 
which is having a rasayana and vajigarna dravya like even though it is rasayana vajigarna dravya uh, it is a toxic in nature their leaf are itchy like it can cause uh, irritation like allergic reactions of our skin and also internally as well and uh, um, the seeds are like kind of hallucinogenic like it can produce like effect of some drugs it is a good muscle toner like it, it can heal the muscles very well it is said that uh, it can be used for healing the ruptured or like broken muscles and it is also a good nerve tonic the root is considered to be used in anemia and it is as i told like it is a good rasayana and vajigarna dravya so it's called as a urda daru and i have also seen like heard about that this plant that it's used in like uh, elephantiasis along with uh, gomutra and for kshaya and also for rasayana this uh, the root is used to prepare gridha um the next drug like it's a well known like an endemic for the midland ecosystem uh, urutuki which is known as garuda pacha because uh, garuda kodi because of its uh, property in or use in like snake bite like as garuda it kills the uh, snake like similarly it is used in snake venom um so oh, it is a host plant for this kind of butterfly like called a rose butterfly uh, it is an usnavirya drug which is used in like internal worms and skin diseases uh, it is also said that uh, if we keep the root of this plant the snake will not come near or, uh, or i also heard that like it can uh, calms down the spread of a snake poison like if someone has uh, uh, got bite from the snake and uh, if they use this uh, root of this drug uh, it can reduce the speed of uh, spread of the medicine sorry of the poison and uh, in a book i also read that it can increases the heart rate as well and um, it, it is told to be used in malarial condition and this drug is also again used as a pradamana pradamana nasya like the root powder along with uh, the ficus religiosa bark and black pepper used for pradamana nasya for kind of uh, Uh, unconsciousness due to the snake poison next one is like mylochica mylochica is also a beautiful uh, plant which is having beautiful flower which attracts many number of uh, 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 flies and bees uh, so it, it is considered as like a hemostatic and ophthalmic drug like it can uh reduces uh like it can control the bleeding and like it can protect the eyes and like it can control uh, the blood uh pressure it is having a thick kashaya rasa like bitter and astringent and sweet taste and it's told to be used for uh as a parasit uh, parasiticide for trichomas and uh, uh due to its uh, like uh santania property or like uh, sorry stambana property it is used in like atisara and pravahika it is considered to be a diuretic and lithiotic in action like uh, lithiolytic in action like it is good for like uh, urinary stone leaves are used as wound healer and also uh, 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 and also for other skin lesions or skin diseases so the leaf uh, paste can be used for skin diseases and as i said like it is one of the uh, unique uh, uh, plant for like a pea blue butterfly for as a nectar host and other one is like krishna kiridam like cleodendron paniculatum uh it, it is uh it's a, uh, it's a plant which is having a very beautiful flower it is considered as a uh, uh, butterfly magnet and it is having shidavira drug and tikta uh, kashaya rasa and uh, it can pacify vada pitta like but i i i am not able to get a much reference about the flock uses of the drug but i have seen that like uh, when i was searching about this drug i have seen that like in malay medicine they use this uh, for many illness for like muscle strain and also it is used for swedana doing swedana like with the coconut oil they use the leaf uh, with the coconut oil they use the swedana over the 
muscle sprains and also considered to be used as a poultice in uh, delivery discomfort over the abdomen like uh, so it is also a drug which can produce as the pain and it shows like kind of anti-inflammatory antimicrobial and antioxidant properties this is another kind of uh, tree which can be seen in uh, like this uh, scrub jungles can be considered as one among the scrub jungle tree which is having very beautiful uh, flower like um, the tree with a beautiful flower it is having a hot potency and uh, having a bitter taste that the drug is having litholytic like it can destroy the stone and an anti-dysentric drug like it control the diarrhea or dysentery it is considered to be ophthalmic and can be used in wada kapha rogas and toothache and in africa it is considered the root decoction is considered as abortifacient and in germany that the powder of this root is used for massaging over the fracture this is also another uh, tree like which is having a special action like when you chew the leaf of this one like uh, chakrapoli gemnia silvestra if you chew the chew the leaf of this uh, plant uh, you are the sweet taste bud can get numb and you will not uh, perceive the taste of sweetness like if you chew kinds of sugar or toffee you feel like chewing some sand or uh, you feel like chewing some kind of wax if you're chewing a toffee so it is considered as a killer of prameha so I, it is having the name chakra kuli like chakra means sweet it uh, it destroys the sweet and uh, it is uh, it is one among the plant which produce the papus like uh, apubandari and uh, it can as it told like it like uh, it can kill the prameha or like it can destroy prameha like the study showed that it can block the absorption of sugar to the blood so so one is like, like it can up, like stop the sugar absorption and also this drug uh, can also reduces the craving for sweet and craving for the uh, for the food so it, it is a very good drug of choice for uh premium and um, uh, as it like uh, this the leaves are diuretic in nature and uh, some of the tribe like uh, there, there was some peculiar name some tribe used to heat these leaves like four to five number of leaves get, they will be taken early in the morning to clear the urine so it can be used like the leaves is also can be used to clear urine like uh premium is also uh, affecting like uh the mutra vasra so the leaves are also can be used for reducing uh, or for use in prameha roga like uh, it is also told like uh, it is used in cardiopathic illness and constipation and in china it is used for rheumatism uh, hemorrhoid snake bite and blood vessel inflammation and as well as in africa they use for like snake bite And the other one is like Adabatin Kirang, like Holistina Adakoidan. Like it is endangered one. Like it is named as um, Arka Pushpi because the flower resembles that of Arka. And uh, it, it is considered as Jivanti. Uh, the, the drug action, like it is a Rasayana drug, but uh, can be used in um, Prameha. Like it is a Rasayana, can be used in Prameha. And uh, this is ophthalmic, like uh, for eye diseases. This is one of the good drug of choice, which is having a call potency. And it is an host plant for like a uh, striped tiger butterfly larva and also nectar. This one is used for kind of uh, kidney stones or like uh, ashmeri as like take the root uh, tuber, tuber powder along with the chira can be taken for the kidney stone and the rasina chira, like chira paka will be act as a rasina. So other one like the next one is like epomia nil like krishna bijam in malayalam which is a very purgative drug like uh, the seeds the black seeds that's why it's named as krishna bijam like black seeds so this uh these uh this the seeds can like uh with a very very low, low dose like one to three grams can produce uh can act as a purgative and uh, this is as like this uh climber is having a very beautiful flower which attracts the different kinds of butterflies and in chinese medicine like in chinese medicine it is used as a, a laxative and is used in like a, like a diuretic as well as it is used in oligorurea like uh, 
I don't know, like I got the reference from uh, the, the books uh, uh, online. And it says that it is used in diuretic as well as oligouria. Here, similarly, I can uh, like uh, in the further slides, I will, I will be also talking about another drug which is having different action. And in Korea, uh, these seeds are used as contraceptives. These leaves are used to wash like uh, this one, like uh, Krishna Bijam leaves can be used for washing the hair to kill the hair lice. So this is Adirani, like Melastoma malabarica, which is having very beautiful flower, which is endemic to such kinds of ecosystem. And uh, like it is used for diarrhea and cut wound, like it is having a Santhania property. And like, again, like root juice is used for leucorrhea, like it is a Santhania, like it stops with Sambana in action, contains like a, a chemical constituent, like which is potential, uh, like which is having potential activity as an anti-diabetic content. And in China, it is and Malay medicine, it is used and like uh, similar similar uses, like uh, they are used in cut wounds, like uh, the leaves are used for or the root decoction or whole plant decoction are mainly used for these kinds of cut wounds and as well as for diarrhea. This is the one what I told like Nirtipali, like uh, as its name resembles, like either the, the fruit is similar to that of Tipali, like Pipali. Phyla nodiflora, which is having Sheetaviria, but very similar to that of people like uh, Kaduka Shairasa with cold potency. It is a semi aquatic plant. It is cardiotonic, ophthalmic, and fermatogenic and diuretic. So we can say it's a kind of resin or like a rejuvenating drug. And it is a good hair care drug. So in flock, like uh, they are used to prepare oils. And the fresh leaf juice are used for gum, gum bleeding and it can ripen like this is the one like uh, the drug that I told like which has two different actions like it can ripen the boils like if there is a boil to be ripened uh, to make it into pagavasta and also if it is ruptured you can use the same plan to heal the rupture like heal the wound okay and this plan in China it is used as hookworm sorry used in hookworm infections the other one is a uh, paramulu, very really endemic to these kinds of ecosystem, uh, like uh, Lipidigatis carolimsis. Uh, it is considered to be used in like kidney disorder, and uh, like it is diuretic in nature, and uh, also used for digestive illness. Like it can increases the digestion, support the digestion, increases the blood. Like uh, showed up that uh, it 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 can increases the blood uh, count, and also told to be used in bronchial asthma in children. Maybe like uh, uh, this may be having a hot potency drug and uh, which, is, uh, which, which is corrosive. Like uh, there's a study showing that it is cor corrosive to the steel. So it can, uh, it can used as a diuretic as well as lithiolytic drug. So uh, this ecosystem like Maratpara is an unusual herbaceous ecosystem with a potential to survive, like uh, as I told, like even though it is going to the two different extreme weather, like very wet to very dry, like scry jung scrub jungles and uh, grassland, these herbs will be having very good kinds of potential to survive. So will be her very herbaceous in nature. And more than 600 species are identified, like in, as a flora, like as a plants, like more than 600 species are identified. But there are many more to be identified, like the flock wide jazz around this Madaipara says that there are more than 1000 number of species are there in this area. And uh, this ecosystem like, uh, like very endemic and very rare and, uh, and they are very like, what you can say, like they are, the, they are very endemic, uh, sorry, they're really special or unique that uh, there are different kinds of plants which are, uh, unique uh, so which are uh, which can be the lava host and like a uh, bee host or nectar host for for different kinds of uh, flies and butterflies uh, around this area and uh, as i told like uh, this is a blessed with a uh, positive and refreshing energy which are very bad now and extinction of a unique flora like as i told like there are different different kinds of floras in that area which is not explored like locally in flock medicine they are used but we don't know them so we have to learn more about it because if a plant is getting extinct like if a plant is getting or a flora is getting extinct, a, a powerful knowledge is also is getting extinct like uh, to make it more easier 
like when we are preparing different different kinds of formulations with the uh, different plants when we have some uh, special herbs and when we are not knowing that we are just losing a powerful knowledge so somehow like this plant uh, sorry this ecosystem and uh, this area to be conserved and such ecosystem like not just in Madhapara, such ecosystem should be conserved at any cost so i would like to uh, express my uh, sincere gratitude with uh, almost respect to dr ajay sadananda sar hod dravya guna vijnanam ashtanga ayurveda medical college and institute of ashtanga ayurveda for giving me such a great opportunity and guidance for doing this program and i would I, I also would like to thank vc balakrishnan sar and many more people with uh, without this presentation would have been never happened because they, they helped me for with knowledge and some data and uh, thank you sir i also would like to thank those who helped me for learning like uh, there is uh, dr niya chichi like uh, vipin sir hari krishnan many more like uh, and my college teachers like lectures from kvj arvada medical college and dr sankita who helped me to prepare all these kinds of slides thank you all uh, thank you sir the unusual ecosystem of madaipara was well explained by dr irfan informations about the rich herbaceous diversity which is